Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd share some insight on how to drill uh, into a ceramic tile and uh, porcelain. It's actually a super hard material and it's you can't just use any sort of like uh, drill bit for that thing. So let me uh, show you a couple of uh, drills I use. I already actually have a couple holes and uh, what I do here. But um, Alright, so let me show you a couple tools first here. So I have a regular drill, non-hammering. Then I have a hammer drill. And uh, then I also have a rotary SDS bit. Now this thing can go through concrete like butter. So it's not... This is not something you typically want to use on this porcelain tile because you could easily crack the tile. So there's actually a special bit for porcelain and granite. Let me show you real quick. And Also to note these little cheapo bits yeah, don't even bother with those things. I mean, that, you're just going to waste your time. So what you need is, you need a special bit for granite and porcelain. And this is a non-hammering bit. So the, the trick to these things is you just got to go slow. You know, don't go too fast or you're going to burn up the bit. And I already actually I already burned up one of my bits already. These things don't last very long either. I don't know, at least for me they don't. But So... And their bits are kind of expensive too. So this is actually an improved bit. I actually had a Bosch bit that kind of looked like it was an arrowhead. The tip looked kind of like an arrow, arrowhead like point. This is a different, more, more expensive one. Um, so the, the local hardware store up here in Big Bear only had the uh, arrowhead one, which is not as good as this one. But So I did get the good one. And like I said, the, the trick here is low speed. See, so I have two speeds. Put it on, the, on the, the low speed. It's going to take a while into steady drilling. And if you can't, if your bit's not staying straight, or I mean, you can't get it to, to start without moving around, just use a little piece of tape. But uh, I was able to get it going without using a piece of tape. So, um, all right, those are my tips on how to do this. You know, I've actually had to do this. I don't do this a lot, but every once in a while I have to do this. So for me, I, my curtain rod keeps on falling, falling down here. So. I'm up in Big Bear and it gets freezing up here, so, you know, the, the, the expansion and contraction, you know, the, the, the rod will never stay up, so. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, slow, steady. It's going to take a while. So. As you can see, it's not obviously drilling very fast. It's just slow and steady. Yeah, on this one, my actually my tip of my bit broke off in there, so. Alright, all right, I'll show you, demonstrate what happens when you use the rotary SDS. See that chip right there? See all the chips? Um, I got impatient, I got tired, and I thought I could maybe get away with the SDS, but nope, it does it every time. So, and learn from my mistakes. Those are the ones right here with. At least even if you're if you're gonna use a rotary SDS, I mean, at least start it, you know, maybe get it drilled in, then come back with the SDS. Alright.